what's up guys so i'm at lincoln street art park in detroit it's a beautiful blue sky day today so i'm gonna do a little bit of exploring wow this place is cool then we got a train track railroad track here i'm pretty sure this is still active it's like we found the way in <laughs> in the fence right there that leads to the top this is cool because a lot of the murals are commissioned by artists but I think a lot of this is actually just street artists practicing but still that is really well done right there and you can see people are constantly spray painting over everything building that I've been seeing. This entire wall is covered with spray paint. There's murals, there's a uh, Napoleon Dynamite right there, <laughs> and uh, that's Pedro. Yeah, for sure, there it is. Vote for Pedro. <laughs> And just like anywhere else in Detroit, the surrounding area is all abandoned buildings. And I'm not saying that all of Detroit is abandoned, but a lot of it is. And like surprisingly, like when I'm flying my drone over some of these buildings, they look like they're in business because there'll be like a beautiful mural on the outside and it looks like okay condition. But then I fly over top and I realize that the whole roof is completely caved in. And so for those places, I quickly learned that they're abandoned too. Okay, so I think I saw like a, a plane down here. So I'm trying to see if I can't get to it. Wow, look at this guys. This is an abandoned plane. Completely spray painted now. kind of sucks that the plane's completely destroyed because it's so interesting. Or is that part of it? I mean, it's just as cool destroyed, actually, come to think about it. It's actually got more culture with the spray paint. <laughs> Let me make a call real quick. It says here, the death of the American dream. Hmm. Wow, have a look at this creepy Creepy statue. This was a old newspaper box. It looks like made into some horrific and creepy sculpture. It's like a statue with a gas mask on. Can't go that way anymore. This is really cool. You can see the downtown area, the end of this sort of tunnel. It's crazy, it's such a beautiful day to do this. And I just found a way into this side.
Okay, so this building is completely collapsing. What I don't like about walking in there when there's snow, it's really hard to see when there's nails sticking out of the wood like this. And this is really common to see. I mean, there's nails sticking out of almost every piece of wood in there. So another time, maybe. This thing right here is so cool. It would be so cool to get up there and climb that, but I don't see a ladder, so I don't think it would be an easy climb, necessarily. It's a dog. He was barking at me earlier, but he seems very chill. Uh, hi, buddy. Okay, now I'm gonna get in my car and fly the drone. Sometimes I like fly it first to check out the area before I actually get in there and explore, but today it looked okay. So I went and explored and now I'll take the drone off. I take it off right from my hood of my car and then just fly it while I'm in the car. Okay, so here's the drone remote. Here is the drone itself. And so I'll just put it on the hood of my car and then take off straight from the car. And I control the whole thing here. <laughs> wow, I'm getting some crazy good shots right now. So there are some sirens going off and the dogs over there are howling. Wow. Perfect. Wow, that was cool. A lot of beautiful things, and the sun is just going down now, so. Ooh. 